in electrical engineering these types of problems are very important and we can easily solve these problems by using the Casio FX 991ES so I am going to solve these five problems so the first problem is 5 angle 50 plus 6 angle 60 before solving these problems set the mode of the calculator in complex press the button mode press this button and then press the button 2 press the button 2 and you can see this calculator is working now in complex mode see the complex is written so now the calculator is working in the complex mode okay the first problem is 5 angle 50 plus 6 angle 60 and write the whole equation on the screen of the calculator to write this equation press bracket then 5 angle how to write angle in the calculator press the button shift then press this button so press this button shift then press this button angle now you can write 50 in the same way write bracket 6 angle for angle you have to press this button shift then press this button angle and write 60 and if you are pressing the button equals to you will by default get the answer in the rectangular form to get the complete solution press SD you can see the answer of question number 1 in rectangular form is 6.21 plus 9.02 J in electrical engineering we write J and in the calculator instead of J we have to use I I means iota suppose I want to convert the answer in the polar form then press answer then press the button shift then press the button 2 then press the button 3 so you can see that we are going to convert the answer in the polar form so press the button 2 sorry press the button equals to so this is the answer of question number 1 in polar form but as you can see that we are unable to get the complete solution on the screen so to get the complete solution on the screen press SD so the answer of question number 1 in the polar form is 10.95 angle 55.45 so our question number 1 is complete so this question is complete so we are proceeding to the question number 2 okay so uh, it is written 3 plus 4 J plus 7 angle 70 so write the whole equation on the screen of the calculator so how to write it press bracket then press 3 plus 4 J how to write J you have to press this button to write J press this button okay J then plus bracket 7 to write angle as I have told you press this button shift then press this button first press shift then press this button and you can write 70 and press equals to you will get the answer in the rectangular form by default press SD to get the complete solution on the screen so this is the answer of question number two in rectangular form and if you want to convert the answer in the polar form press answer then press shift then 2 then 3 okay press the equals to button and then press SD 
to get the complete solution on the screen. So this is the solution of question number two in the polar form. You can see it is written 11.887. Uh, again, I am repeating it. Uh, the answer of question number two in polar form is 11.87 angle 62.98 okay so our question number two is complete let me proceed to question number three in this question number three we have to write the numerator values and the denominator values so press this button this button press this button okay so now you can write uh, the numerator and denominator simultaneously. So write it 3 plus 4. For J, you have to press this button, this one. Okay. Then 5 plus 6. And for J, you have to press this button. Okay. Then 5. For angle, you have to press this button, shift, then this one. Press this button, OK. Then write 50. Suppose you want to get the answer in polar form first, then press shift, then 2, then 3. You can see that the answer which will be given by the calculator will be in the polar form so press equals to then press sd if you want to get the answer in the decimal form see the answer is given in the root form it is given under root 61 angle 53.32 if you will press the sd button you will get the solution in the decimal form 7.81 angle 53.32 so the answer of question number 3 in polar form is 7.81 angle 53.32 and if you want to convert the answer in the rectangular form then press answer then press shift then 2 then press 4 press this button 4 then equals 2 then SD so the answer of question number three answer of question number three in the rectangular form is given on the screen of the calculator 4.66 plus 6.26 j okay so our question number three is complete let us let's, let's, let us proceed to question number four press this button press this button first write in bracket 3 plus 4 j divided by 5 plus 6 j suppose I want to get the answer in the polar form so press shift then 2 then 3 then equals 2 to get the solution in the decimal form press SD so the polar form of the answer of question number 4 is 0.64 angle 2.935 and if you want to convert the answer in the rectangular form press answer then shift then 2 then 4 then equals 2 then press this button SD to get the value in the decimal form so this is the answer in the rectangular form of the question number four so our question number four is complete now let us solve question number five press this button first and uh, bracket three plus four j bracket five for angle press this button shift press it shift then press this button this button so you can see it is angle 50 then in the denominator 
we have to write 6 angle 60 plus 7 angle 70 7 70 if you are directly pressing the equals to button you will by default get the answer in the rectangular form to see the complete answer press SD so this is the answer of question number 5 in the rectangular form and if you want to convert the answer in the polar form press answer then press shift then 2 then 4 equals to so this is the answer of question number 5 in rectangular form suppose you want to calcul uh, calculate the value in the polar form then press answer then shift then 2 then 3 equals to then press SD so this is the answer of question number 5 in polar form so if you like this video kindly share it to the students of electrical engineering